Has the Canadian bookstore chain Indigo lost the plot? Books, music, and more has long been the hallmark of Indigo's approach to mass appeal, with more being a blanket term for its interest in selling everything under the sun, including blankets. The store stock sex toys an $800 patio umbrella, mugs and tea sets, vitamin supplements, and clothes, among other things. But more hasn't really worked. Indigo's profitability has been waning since before COVID-19, with a 9% drop in 2019. And while Canadian independent bookstores have been called one of the few economic success stories of the pandemic, Indigo only marginally returned to profitability last year, thanks largely to online sales. On top of all this, this summer, Indigo's founder, Heather Reisman, who pioneered the move beyond books, resigned from her role as chief executive, only to return last month. But Indigo might still have time to turn things around, just look south of the border. Their US counterpart, Barnes & Noble, is riding a revival wave after bringing the focus back to books. Do you think Indigo can do the same?